Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in the previous video, we have learned about the ready state property. So what is the ready state property? So whenever we are making a call HTTP request to a server, so there will be different states. So trying to make a request. So here what I can say is when we start a request, so that is zero unsent. And also when we are trying to make a request, so it is open. And when we send the request, or a address received and it's loading. And also the last one is the success. So server has sent the response. So like this, there, is, there are different states in the Ajax when you are trying to make an Ajax call to the HTTP server. So fine. <clears throat> so the ready states and all those things we have seen with an example also. I have shown you with an example. For example, here, if you try to see, here we are able to see unsent, open, and done. So fine. So now, when these ready state properties are changing, so that means ready state property is changing from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. So that value is changing, right? So whenever this value is changing, <clears throat> we have an event listener in the XML HTTP request object. That is nothing but an on ready state change. So this event listener always will listen to the ready state property. Whenever a ready state property value is changing, this on ready state change event listener will be fired. Fire. So if you try to see here, new XML HTTP request. So if you try to see here, so this is our XML HTTP request, right? And here in this one, if you go here, you will be able to see on load. This, are, this is also an event listener we have already seen. On error. And these are the things you'll try to see on progress. We'll see going on. So these are the more common, most common things which you will be using like on load, on progress, on ready state change and on error. And here we are having another one that is nothing but on ready state change. So these are whatever the properties which are having with a word on means those are event listeners. So it will be having a callback. So here right now we don't have a, it doesn't have a callback. We need to provide the callback function. That is nothing but an event handler. We can also see it as an event handler. So this is an on ready state change property. So this on ready state change property event listener will fire whatever the function you are trying to provide will fire all the time when this ready state property changes. So when this ready state property changes from 0 to 1, 1 to 2 means this on ready state change property will fire. I will try to show you example. So here I am trying removing this one all open these all the things i am removing and here so now we understood that xhr has an event listener on ready state change is equal to so i am using the arrow syntax function so here this is a callback function or event handler and here we can write console.log xhr dot ready state so we'll try to we want to see the ready state what are the ready states it has been fired so now if you try to see the output for this one okay so if you try to see the output for this one if i refresh this page and click on the change content see two three four has been fired fired so what about the zero and one so zero and one most of the browsers will not respond to those changes so in the whole browsers will respond to the changes normally zero and one will not fire this on ready state change will not fire for that 0 and 1. So after the 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, it will fire. So, so that all the browser doesn't support that one. <clears throat> so that is that is one thing you need to remember. So what is the thing you need to remember is all the things will not fire. So that is one thing we need to remember. So here we got this on ready state change. So 0 and 1, most of the browsers doesn't uh, detect the changes. But 2, 3 and 4, it will detect it. So this is about the on ready state change event listener. So now <clears throat> we also have an another thing that is nothing but response text. So what is this response text? So now all the time we are using the response text, right? So if you try to see XHR, sorry, new XML HTTP. Oh, sorry, new XML HTTP. Where is that one? We'll try to use this one. Okay. Now, if you try to see here, so we are having a response text. So all the time you will be getting whatever the response you are getting it from the server, you will be getting into this response text. Now, 
this response text so now instead of using this on load also on ready state change property we can use it for example let's say that uh, let's comment out this one i don't want to use it and here i will use document dot write uh, hi lila okay so hi lila so now i am trying to see i'm trying to do it hi lila if i save this one and if i try to refresh this page if you see here three times it has been fired okay three times it has been pasted why because so it is responding to the changes two three and four so now exactly for example let's say that we want to know about the mm, comma mm, xhr dot response text so if i want to print this xhr comma response text means if i click here see two times hi lila hi lila is printed and in the in the second time so in the second time you will be able to see the uh, response and in the third time also you'll be able to see the response first time we are not able to see the response so how can we overcome this issue how can we overcome this multiple uh, uh, rendering of this html text so what we can do is so we can check here if xhr dot ready state is equal to is equal to four so you can check it directly with this four and here you can use like this then only if it is four means then only we can use it so now if i try to refresh this page and if i paste it here see this time only one time only the html has been rendered so this is the usage of this ready state ready state thing whenever we want to you whenever you want to render the data to the server when you got the response from the http server means then when the ready state is equal to is equal to 4 then only you can paste this one or otherwise you can throw some error or anything so that means you didn't get any response from the server so this is about the on ready state change property and also the response text hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you